I gotta get my son. Can you take us? Let's move! What the hell is that? Into the storm follows three separate groups of people um, caught up in a storm across a single day. What was it about the use of these different viewpoints that appealed to you about John Swetnam's script? And how taken were, the, were you with the idea of a found footage style disaster movie? Well, first off, I love the challenge of how do you make a movie with these points of views. And also, I loved having a diverse group of people that then come together and sort of persevere and survive this, you know, um, unbelievable experience. Because often in reality, you know, when people survive this enormous disaster, it, they bond in a different way and, and have an idea of what's really important in life. And so it was just a great challenge to uh, deal with all that stuff. Had I known how difficult it was going to be when I said yes to it, then maybe I would have not uh, been so quick to say yes. But I thought it was great and I had a fun time and it was just uh, really exciting to, 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 to do. Good. Uh, Richard, you play high school teacher uh, Gary Morris. Given the nature of your role, did you look to any particular teachers from your own past for inspiration? Um, Weirdly, I, I had been asked that question, and I didn't. I don't think I did it consciously, but subconsciously, there was a teacher in my in my high school who was. Uh, I think he was a humanities teacher, but he was also a PE teacher, and he was, you know, he he was kind of physically very capable, and and I think that he has certainly kind of come into my subconscious when creating the role. And weirdly enough, I seem to remember him being dressed in pretty much the same gear that we ended up dressing Gary in. Um, but I did speak to a couple of uh, teachers, or one teacher in particular from the Midwest, just to find out about the high school system there and to listen to the accent as well. So. Matt, you're primarily known for your work in comedy, I'd say, but uh, whilst there's some laughs with Peak, it's usually his expense, actually, to be fair. Um, it's mainly a serious role for you this time. Is it more fun to be more dramatic in Into the Storm? Uh, I wouldn't say that the, the drama was necessarily what's fun. The action was fun. Do you know what I mean? Like doing the stunts and seeing people getting sucked into the sky and running through the elements, whether it's a 100 mile an hour fan or rain. Uh, those elements were really fun. And actually working with good actors like Richard and Sarah and Jeremy, etc. Uh, playing dramatic moments was fun because there are some sweet turns and uh, things that I don't normally get to do, which I truly enjoyed. So yeah, a little both. How'd you go about getting into the head of someone who's experienced a tornado? Well, I think for, for me, at least, I kind of wanted to not really know that much about what I was getting into because I'm, you know, we're, we're just teenagers. And obviously we're, we're from Oklahoma, so we've experienced this kind of thing before, but we've always been hunkered down in a storm shelter. So I think b beyond the extent of maybe going and, and looking on YouTube and, and just seeing videos of the kind of things that people say while it's happening and, and just getting some background there, I specifically did not want to know very much because I wanted to feel caught off guard and very vulnerable by, by what was happening. So the, the storm chasers, they had a lot more work to do because they had to learn all the meteorology stuff and the yeah. terminology and everything. But uh, for me personally, I, I tried to know very little and just be an ignorant teenager. Yeah, I think the, I think the work that, w that we did coming into it was beyond that, those first YouTube things. It's, it was character things and right. trying to work yes. out. Because, yeah. because uh, Into the Storm takes place over a day. You know, it's the day that the storm hits. Um, you have to get a sense of who these people are. So we needed to know where they were coming from and how they'd arrived at this place. You know, when we meet um, Trey and Donnie and Gary, they're, um, you know, they're a broken family. They've had their own personal disaster and, um, and, and Gary isn't relating to us in the way that he'd maybe like to. He's playing both mum and dad. So it was us doing our own work on that and where we thought this relationship was how it was and then coming back together uh, and kind of, you know, and hearing Richard's thoughts, who Rich would always do five <laughs> times the work you have, uh, which is why it was so great to work with him. You know, yeah. he was so prepared. I really enjoyed it. It was something that attracted me to, to the work itself, apart from the, the, the good script, was I liked the idea of, of not being able to plan too much, that these characters are living on a moment-to-moment -moment basis and whatever's being thrown at them. It's very rare in a story that, that you don't know how it's going to end, or the characters, you know, are sort of living on that, that sort of edge of reality, and uh, I was really interested in that. Yeah, and I think it's a reflection of how, how people, I imagine, would experience natural disasters just moment to moment, you know. Um, and it makes it all the more immediate, the, the action.
know in Britain we don't really get these kinds of uh, weather fronts crossing our shores, but I wondered whether you have any experience of this kind of thing. Did you go tornado hunting yourself as research? Well, when I grew up, I grew up in the Midwest, and I actually experienced some tornadoes, not firsthand, but they had tornado warnings, which means a tornado was within 15 miles of our community, and so I had to go in the basement and wait for it to come, and then it was that sort of anticipation of whether or not it's going to actually hit or not that gives you that tension and uncertain and uneasiness as a young kid, so I've had that experience uh, firsthand. And Jeremy, you've admitted to being a bit of a weather buff in the past, and mm -hmm. you've been in Kentucky where they do have tornadoes. Um, have you ever experienced anything like what we've seen in someone in real life? Yeah, I did. I was, um, when I was in first grade, a tornado came through my school ripped out the gym, uh, a lot of the roofing on the gym, and um, uh, it was just the scariest moment of my life. You can hear all the sounds, that freight train noise, the tornado hitting, coming towards the, the school, and then the vibrations and the rattling of the building, the lockers swinging open and stuff. Um, that, that scene in the school in this movie uh, really reminds me of it, and uh, scary. Yeah, they are scary. Um, there's always a host of summer blockbusters that come along uh, in these months and they've always got big action in them, but I wondered what sets Into the Storm apart from the other disaster movies like it? Uh, I would say it's definitely, I mean, the found footage element is a strong, huge asset. I think it's, it shows you intimately the storm, but it also brings you in really close to the characters and, and it, it makes you feel, well, into the storm, yeah. if we're going to go there, uh, yeah. which I did. You must. Uh, you must. <laughs> you must. <laughs>